Hello, my name is Chris Cronson with ABS Systems Inc. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your CMS software, adding cameras, making a database, getting them recording. And uh, so here we go. On my desktop, I uh, have the uh, setup file, the CMS file, and the IP utility program. And to download it, uh, just go to our website, www.avs sys.net go to the download section put in the username and password which is u-r-i-e-l and on the bottom left you'll see cms and click that to download to install so once you have it installed there's going to be two files or two programs installed cms and the ip utility program and we're going to open that and once you have your IP cameras connected to your network, they should be listed there. And uh, you can click refresh at the bottom to bring them up. And we're going to add them to our status section by clicking add multi. Choose all. And we're going to assign new IP numbers to all of our cameras with one easy step. So click IP generation. And here you can choose which IP number you want to start with in, in increments. And we recommend start uh, with increments of two to match the port numbers. You need to have two port numbers open on the uh, connect port for each camera. And we recommend starting at 9002 for the connect port and 8002 for the web port. In the password, uh, by default, it's admin, A-D-M-I-N, and type in the gateway and subnet mask. One quick way to figure out your gateway and subnet mask is go to start and then run and then type in CMD. I'll bring up the command window and type IP config, IP C O N F I G, and that'll give you your gateway and subnet mask. Okay, and we click OK and click apply. Click OK to confirm, and it's going to assign new IP numbers and port numbers to all the cameras in one easy step. Now, after that's done, we're going to add these to our CMS software right with our utility program. So we're going to go to IP Utility, Add All, and once they're in the status section, select one and type in the password. By default, it's root, R-O-O-T for both ID and password, and click Copy to All and click Apply. And we're going to close that, and we're going to open our CMS software. And once the program is up, you should see all the cameras already inputted into the software. And we need to first unlock the program. It's by clicking the lock button on the top right and typing the username and password. By default, it's ADMIN for both the username and password. And there's our cameras. And to connect it, you can simply drag one over. And to disconnect one individual camera, just right click and go to disconnect site. Now we're going to set up a database so the CMS software knows where to store the video that we want recorded from our cameras. Now we highly recommend that you partition a portion of your hard drive just for storing the video or using a separate hard drive to store the video. And there's several reasons for this. Uh, first, it avoids the hard drive from ha having fragment issues and also makes the video search faster and it'll add life to your hard drive. So to do this, we need to click Setup. And in the setup window, click storage and select the partition hard drive that you want the video to be stored onto. So we're going to select that and click add. And we can see that the hard drive has moved over to the left. And then we need to click fix mode. And then we need to select the number of databases we want to build. Uh, you could select the up and down buttons to choose or just click number of databases. It will give you the total amount for that hard drive size. And then click Make Database, and it'll go ahead and make all the databases. And once that's done, click Save and Close. And there you have your database. Now, um, you can also make up to four databases. So if you need a lot of storage, you can go ahead and make up to four. Um, but uh, we're just going to have one here. So click Save and Close. And now we're going to make our group and then make our group schedule for recording. Now we're going to take all of our cameras and assign them to a group. So we need to click the group icon, right click group, and then select add group. Now we can name our group and I'm just going to add, uh, name this Virginia office. And once it's named, uh, we just need to select the cameras from our site that we want to be added to the certain group. So we just highlight it and then click add. 
And since I only have three cameras in my tutorial, I'm just going to add all three of them and click OK. And I'm going to expand my group, and there is my Virginia Office group. And I can connect all the cameras in my group by simply dragging over the group name to the viewing area. Now next, we're going to make our schedule for the recording. And uh, uh, I'm going to disconnect these sites. Um, you can also go up to the group and right-click that and disconnect group to disconnect the cameras. Now to make our recording schedule for this group, we're going to go up to our group and right click and select set group schedule. And we go down and click schedule. And here we're going to set our recording schedule for one or all of our cameras. And uh, you have different choices to choose from. We have motion, sensor, motion plus sensor, and continuous. And just select from the tab what type of recording schedule you want and click and drag to highlight that. And then you can go from each camera. And uh, I'm just going to just show you. Uh, here we are with sensor and the motion with sensor. Just click and drag and uh, between the days and hours. But uh, if you want to just record motion or whatever to all the cameras, you can select copy all and I'll copy it to all the cameras. So we're going to save and close, click OK to confirm. And now we have our recording schedule set up. And I'm going to connect my group and there's different icons for different type of recording schedules. For instance, motion, there's a little man running, continuous, little database showing and it'll appear in the bottom left corner of each camera window. Now I want to point out that I don't need to have the cameras in the viewing area streaming live video for the recording schedule to be active. Um, whether or not I see them live, uh, the schedule is going to continue and uh, as long as the camera is connected to the network, uh, it's going to be recording according to what you set in the recording schedule. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial. And if you do have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call at 1-800-691-1034. Thank you.